now let's move forward and see how we can create the role based access middleware so for that i have done few things so first i have created a product model so it's pretty basic so it has id name description price and tags our tags will be the comma separated values and we have two time fields which is created and updated and then we have named this table as products so the product table is created and in the controllers i have created a separate file which is products.ts and inside here we have this create product uh, controller which is pretty basic apart from that in the routes folder i have created a separate uh, file for the products route so it's also the boilerplate code and inside index.ts i have used this route against a slash products path so this is all we have so now let's go to the products controller and try to create one so we will say const product is equal to await prisma client dot product dot create and inside the create will pass the data we will pass everything in the request body except the tags because we are going to store the tags as the comma separated values so in the input we will receive the tags as uh, an array so for example we will receive let's say t and it's uh, let's say from india so we want to transform it something like this t comma india so so for this we are going to say request dot body dot tags dot join and we are going to join it using comma so this is how we are going to do this and here is a quick assignment for you guys you have to create a validator to create a validator for this request so just create a validator you have to validate all the data which is coming inside request dot body and you have to throw the exceptions i guess you don't need to throw the exceptions it's automatically done by error middle error handler so just create a validator and use it here let me know the solution in the discussion section so and apart from this we will say response dot json and simply we will say product so it's completed now in the routes folder we will use this products uh, routes dot post and for the simple slash route we are going to use the error handler for create product so this is what we are going to do now let's give it a try as of now this route is not uh, role protected or any sort of permissions given on this route so any user can create a product so let's give it a try first so in the user uh, earlier like i have given this role to user1 as admin now i am going to change this and we will simply say user here now let's go to the postman and create a simple folder new folder for all the product related routes we will say products and here we are going to create a request which will be add product so you have to learn all these things because these things are done in the companies where you have to structure these requests or the documentations so it's obviously a good practice to do this so on api we have products and we have to create a post request and inside the body we will pass the json so let's give it a name i will say t inside the description you will say that a sweet t just the random one and for the tags we are going to say it's a t from india and for the price we are going to say it's 20 and do we need anything else as well let me check name description price tags so that's all what we need i guess so let's hit send okay so it's giving an error what the error is because we are not running the development server so we will say npm start
okay now let's give it a try again it's working so there are two things which we need to take care of first this uh, route is not either authentication protected not role based role based protected so first we want to give a auth middleware here so inside the routes inside the products so we will say first we will say auth middleware and as soon as we say auth middleware and try to run this again so let it hot reload and if we send this request again you can see that it's failed because in the headers we are not sending any authorization header so we will say authorization let's copy the token from the me api copy this and here so now let's hit send so you can see that again the request was successful because now we have the authorization token here so it's the request is authenticated now what you want to do is we want to create a, a role middleware so in the middleware what we want to do is we want to create a file which will say admin dot ts so the uh, this middleware belongs to the admin so all the admin users are only allowed to authenticate this request so let's copy the boilerplate from here and use this let's remove everything from here we will say admin we will say admin middleware and inside this middleware what we are going to say is first we will get the user and which will be request dot user the order of these middlewares are important so before this admin middleware we have to give the auth middleware so that we can get an access to the user object on this request so once we have this request so we will say if user dot role equal equal admin then we are going to say next else if it's not an admin then we are going to say next or maybe we can simply copy the exception from here we are going to say it's unauthorized so we have to import this as well so we are going to say let's try to type this i guess yeah it will automatically import this so yeah so this is how auth middle admin middleware is defined so we have the request user sorry and if the role of the user is admin we want to pass the uh, control to the x controller and if it's not an admin then we are going to say it's unauthorized so let's give it a try so inside the products.tf after the auth middleware we are going to pass admin middleware so now let's see and let it reload okay the app is crashed i am not sure why it says the port is already in use let's run this again okay so app is working now let's hit send you can see that it's unauthorized now even though we are like passing the authorization token it says unauthorized because the user is not of type admin so let's go into the prisma studio and try to modify it to admin now let's see the request now you can see that it succeeded so now this route the create product route is protected with the admin middleware or the admin only admins can access this route so this is how the role based middleware works now in the next lectures we will proceed forward and create other routes for the products like get products like the listing of the products and get product by ids and updating everything so let's see in the next lecture